Vashik, what, what are you up to over there? Oh yeah, I just saw some of these uh, Tennis United reviews coming in right now. And how are we looking? It's good. It's looking really good, actually. Let's hear a couple of them. The episodes are getting more interesting and addictive. Great Vashik and Bethany. This is great. Keep, keep reading them. Bethany's teeth are brighter than my future. <laughs> That's great. Oh, this is, uh, this one kind of hurts. Vashik and Bethany aren't bad, but they take a lot of time to get into it. And Vashik looks like he has B.O. Don't really know what to say on that comment, but uh, let's let's keep the show going. <laughs> actually told just now that you're a big uh, Raps and Nadal fan. And you are correct, sir! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You got it! It is our six-week anniversary. It is. Tennis United. Sixth episode. It is. It's exciting! I think we've been doing pretty well, Vashik. We've been doing well. People are first, engaged. First time hosts here. Six weeks in. We're getting to know each other pretty well, which we will test out right now. Let's get into the game and see how well we know each other. What was your first impression of me? There was a comment on the Tennis United feed that said you were very positive and bubbly that I felt <laughs> was very accurate. I would say that was probably my first impression that you were just very, very good energy, very positive energy. What about you? I, right. I mean, I gotta ask you the same question. What was your first impression? All right. yeah, be so, honest. In all honesty, I actually thought that you were a little more reserved and shy than you are. Now on Tennis United, like you're, you're actually pretty funny. Yeah. It's a different Vashik. It's different me. I like this Vashik. It's a good Vashik. Who do you think my celebrity crush is? Chris Pratt with a beard. Yeah, with a beard. Right? I like beards. Bethany, what do you think that I fear most? I think you fear living up to all your expectations you put on yourself. Whoa, that's deep. I was thinking you were gonna be like spiders and I'd be like, yeah, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you think I'm most likely to splurge on? Uh, I'm gonna say like like jackets or something, like some cool jackets. It's shoes. <laughs> I I will splurge shoes. I, I mean, shoes. That was my next guess. I Come know on now. I said clothes. Uh, Same thing. I'm a shoe girl. Okay. What do you think my go-to karaoke song is? It's raining men. You've got some work to do. You don't know me that well yet. Currently, probably circles by Post Malone. I just crank it in the shower and just let it out. Do you feel like you know me pretty well, or was I the opposite of of everything you thought? I feel like I know you pretty well. I feel like I know you pretty well. I feel like I'll know you better after this show. So let's get into it. Hold up. I'm Marcus Rashford and I'm here with Andy Murray. All right, guys, we are going to surprise a fan now. Um, her name is Debbie Thorburn. Uh, she is a community nurse from Scotland. She doesn't actually know that this is going on, so let's surprise her. Hi, oh, is that Debbie? Hi. Hi, it's Andy Murray. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good, thank you. There's someone <laughs> else on the line as well. Yeah, <laughs> hiya, Debbie. It's me, Marcus Rashford. I think I've been well and truly set up here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm not too bad. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, yeah. What are your days looking like just now? I do night shift. I'm regular night shift with the Out of Hours District Nursing Service. So we are really, really busy at the moment because um, we're going into care homes. We're seeing a lot of unfortunate COVID patients who who are terminally ill and at the end of their lives. So that's really, really difficult. It, it's quite harrowing, yeah. At the moment, it's really, really difficult. I was actually told just now that you're a big uh, Raph and Adele fan, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> My husband does like you. <laughs> oh. And I heard that you're a, a big United fan as well, Debbie. Yeah, Marcus, I've been a United fan since my sister took me to my first game at nine years old, long, long time ago. Um, 
And yeah, I've read ever since, watch every game. Obviously, I can't get to all the games, can't get to many, yeah. but I watch every game on the telly or listen on the radio. Yeah, absolutely diehard red. <laughs> what was the first game that you went to? Oh, gosh. Um, it was when they were relegated down to Division 2. I mean, I can't yeah. even remember um, what game it was, but I know um, at that time, Georgie Best was still playing. Yeah. <laughs> That's how... A long, long time ago. Oh, that's good. How's you? How are you doing? How's your recovery going? Mine hasn't been um, too bad now. You know, I was obviously having a, a good season this season, and at the beginning, it's tough mentally, yeah. really. Um, you know, knowing that you, you're not able to, to do the thing that you love to do. So you have to just try and get around your, yourself mentally and try and improve in other areas whilst you, whilst you can't improve physically, really. And that's just what I've been doing. But, you know, I'm feeling much better now. I'm, doing bits and bobs outside, um, bits of running and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm feeling much, much better now. Good, good, brilliant. That's great to hear, Marcus. Thank you. The guys told us that you, you've been to Wimbledon once before. Is that right? I've actually managed to go three times, but the last time was just two years ago. Um, I surprised my husband for his 60th birthday. Um, unfortunately, he didn't get to see you. He would have loved to have seen you, but we um, we got to see Roger instead. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's probably better. Did you get to see Rafa at Wimbledon at all? I have, yeah. In previous years when I've been, I've been, uh, I've seen Rafa, yeah, and once at Queens. So that was absolutely amazing. Brilliant. I have seen you as well, Andy, previously. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Thanks for all the work you're doing. You're welcome. Thanks, Andy. Thank you very much as well. Uh, we all appreciate the work that you do, Anne. Thanks. Take care, both of you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Vashik and I are pumped to have Jem Brady, Coco Vandoy, and Shelby Rogers on the show for a nice little charades game. What's up, guys? And we are gonna jump right into it. So we're gonna get, we're gonna pick our teams. There's gonna be two teams of two. One person will be on mute, and their partner will try to guess what the the, the word is that they're trying to express. Uh, it'll be a tennis term. We got two minutes on the clock. Uh, you you can skip anytime you want. And since we have four competitors here, I'll be the moderator today. Shelby, your teammate will be. Me. Woo! Well, let's okay, go. let's go. My money is on you, on you girls. Come okay. on, Coco, let's prove them wrong, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right. We're gonna start. Bethany and Shelby, go. One word. Forty love. <laughs> Deuce. Jeez. Two words. Hot. Oh my God. Hot. Warm up. <laughs> How did you get that? Two words. Neck, tie, tie, tiebreaker. Oh my goodness. That was good, like tiebreaker. Two words. Foot, football. Four points. Are she w. spelling out the name? That's questionable. Those are questionable tactics. Uh, what, wild card? Oh my god. She got it. Five. Five points. Out. That's... Wide. Uh, linesman. Official. Chair umpire. Is it umpire? Oh my god! <laughs> Is everyone cheating for these guys? Oh my god, you're spelling it again. Uh, uh, WTA, um, uh, tour. Seven points and we're out of time. <laughs> Let's go! So Bethany and Shelby got seven points. Jennifer, Coco, if you beat seven, you're the winners. If you tie, we're gonna go to a tiebreaker. If it's six, you lose. Or lower. You ready for this? Are you ready? Uh, looks like Jen is having some technical difficulties what? with filming here. Circle, tennis ball, ball, bounce. Ball bounce? Did I get it right? What the hell? Oh, she's lagging! <laughs> <laughs> she got it though, tennis ball. Serve, service motion, uh, love, heart? Fixed strings, broken strings, 
Racket, tennis racket. 40 love, deuce, add. Three points. Pete Sampras. No, no way! Are you that was ridiculous. Like it, sir. Here we go, here we go, 52 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Djokovic. Novak Djokovic. Oh my no. gosh, you got it. Huh? ATP. Wow. Out. Challenge. Hawkeye. Time. We have a problem. Nobody wants to win it. All right, tiebreaker. Here we go. Uh, we're going to do best of three. I'm going to act it out. I'm going to act out the words. First team to guess two of the three. So if it's 2 0, it's 2 0, it's over. That team wins. Shelby, let's go. Roger Federer. Jim Courier. TV interview. Uh, Tr Chris Ever. Oh, oh my uh, gosh, you got it. Basha. It's a Basha. person. Basha. It's, a, it's a person. A it's person. A, <laughs> a male. Okay. Where's he going? Oh, 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 oh. he needs space. Becker. <laughs> Becker. Boris Becker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, so go. With an assist from myself, the winning team is Coco and Jennifer. Well done, girls. Congratulations. Go, Go celebrate. celebrate. Have, Have a party. party. I think we're out of time, but that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Today we have two legends of the game with us, Martina Hingis, Leander Pays. Thanks for coming on and joining us on Tennis United. So guys, uh, first of all, you guys are unbelievable. I've been watching a couple of your episodes. Oh my God, Vasek, we boys have to keep up. This girl is on fire. Thank you guys. Martina and Leander, are you ready for a challenge today? We have a game for you. We want to know how well you guys know each other's careers. So we're going to ask a couple questions. We're going to give you multiple choice answers. And let's see who knows each other's career better. I am going down. <laughs> We're gonna start off quick here. What year did Martina get to the world number one in singles and doubles? 1997, 1998, 1999, or 2000? I know it's not 99. I know that. Okay. Um, that's why, why do you know it's Why do you know it's not 1999? Because we were number one in the world in doubles in 1999. And in the big ball over there, I felt that Martina was not number one in the world in both singles and doubles. I'm gonna go with 97. Oh, so close. It you were almost there, 98. <laughs> Great job, man. So close. Martina, here's your question. What year did Leander get to number one in the world in doubles? It's gonna be the same thing, 1997, 1998, 1999, or 2000. And actually, Leander kind of gave this away already. Uh, that's all I'll say. Well, I did listen a little bit, so he was um, talking about something in 99, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have even go. got that. I wasn't even paying attention. Leander, you gave it away. I just set her up and she made us look good. That's I did Exactly. That's a good That's doubles a partner. Leander, what was Martina's most successful slam in terms of singles, doubles, and mixed doubles wins? I'm leaning towards the Australian Open. Um, yeah, that's my final answer, the Australian Open. Yeah, Australian correct. Open, open it is. He got it, he got it, that is correct. It is the Australian Open. Lee is on the board. <laughs> Leander won doubles and mixed doubles in 1999 at this tournament. So which slam did he win doubles and mixed doubles? I felt the most comfortable when we played Wimbledon, so I just go, I would get Wimbledon. Yes, that's right. Okay, oh. Martina's on oh. fire. Nice. Who has Martina won the most majors with? Is it you, Sonia Mirza, Yana Novotna, or Anna Kornikova? I knew she won a bunch with Kornikova. Um, I'm going to look. I'm going to look really bad on this one, but I'm going to say me. 
<laughs> you're right. You. You're right. It is you. It is. Go cool. And you're right. You look really bad saying that. Also, you're also right about that. <laughs> Last question. Leander, Martina, you were one of the two teams to complete a career Grand Slam. Who was the first mixed doubles team to do so? Bob Bryan, Martina Navratilova, Yana Novotna, Jim Pugh, Marty Reason, Margaret Court, or Helena Sukova and Cyril Suk? Margaret Court played with Marty Reason. So many sales, but I've never heard of her winning doubles or mix or whatever. Marty so maybe it. that's not the answer, I don't know. Whenever Bastik says this is not the answer, I kind of lean towards it, man. <laughs> Every time it goes into oh. <laughs> <laughs> My guess, after Bastik little switch, is Margaret Court and Reason. Okay, and Martina, what's your guess? The first one. Bob, Brian, Martina, Navratilova. Leander, you are correct. Dan, Bajic! Bajic! <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> 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 baby! entirely reading you. All right, guys, that was the last question, and Leander is going home with the W. Leander, Martina, you guys are legends. Seriously, thank you for coming on. Hey, you guys are really awesome. Thank you so much for having us. Huh? Guys, let's check out the best of social this week. Ready? Sai Sai, go Sai Sai, go, go. She's not moving. I don't know why she's not moving. The dog, the dog just like, is... the dog's like, are we gonna run or what is... <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> he was very <laughs> unwilling at first to do sprints I, I with Sai Sai. was so confused. He's like, what? Wow. <laughs> he was not prepared for that start. He but was in not, the end, yeah, he was not he prepared. He finished strong. Next up, we have the don't miss challenge. Wow. Oh. First of all, that was a, like that was a first serve. That was a legit serve. This is it's a dangerous game we're playing there. It's a trick shot here. Oh, damn! I actually feel like I need to step my game up. Here I'm like practicing my forehands and backhands and serves, and really, I, it's all about the trick shots right now. Okay. Oh. This is pretty good effort oh. right here. Okay. Okay. Oh wow! She's pulling out. No, she's Looking not. In. No, she's not. Oh, come on. Okay. No way. Wow. That was pretty ridiculous, though. Oh, this is the man himself. This is a legend. This is the guy, Stefan Bojic. It is thanks to this guy right here. I've seen this is incredible. What a legend. <laughs> what? It's thanks to Stefan Bojic that we're seeing all these cool trick shots. He's been doing this for years. I mean, honestly, we, we pros have to step up our game. I feel like we... <laughs> We are all behind on the trick shots right now. <laughs> Honestly, well, I, did you see this one, Bethany? No, I did not see this one. I, I saw this. We, I thought I thought we were in like the 70s or something. It kind of has that feel, to, like even the camera filter. Like, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Hey, my name is Chris. And hey, Chris. I'm blind. I love the ATP tour and I wrote a song. Here it is. All right. Oh, this is cool. Hey, wrote this song. Miss the ATP tour. Yes, we do. We hope scientists can find a cure. Yes. We miss Fed, the doll and bear, a teeny. And pasta so. Joker, <laughs> Nick, and of course, Bob Mini. All right, a little rhyme going Nine on dolls there. Dolls cooking eggs. That's playing in the snow with a hat. <laughs> Joker is getting a haircut. And team prefers dogs to cats. Damn right. Okay. Got Damn right, we all do. Stefanos. Posted Nick's number to fans. <laughs> and his Epic. Hair. Got, he's got a little. Describing uh, how to make a heart. Like Bob Dylan has to him. Hands. Oh, nice. There we go. Oh, done, super Chris. cute. He's following That's everyone cool. on social media. All right, and this past weekend was Mother's Day. If you forgot, you're in trouble. You better call your mom right now. It's um, too late, it's you... too late. <laughs> if you were paying attention to all your players, they were posting with their moms, they were posting some throwback pictures. Let's take a look at some of these. Oh, you know, oh, oh, I feel like I recognize. Is that Svitolina? Super cute. 
Let's see the next okay, one. Okay, here we go. Wozniacki. What? Wozniacki, boom. How did get it so fast? Have you seen this photo before? No, I just look at her mom's face. It looks exactly like Wozniacki. It looks exactly like Carol. That's true. All right, Let's here we go. This. Is this uh, Kenan? Yeah, it's too old to be Kenan. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is this Monica Puig? Honestly, no, I not. did not recognize Monica, not. but now that I look at her mom, her mom looks the same. I can I can see it. That doesn't really look like Monica. Okay, here we go. Uh, Who's this? Ash Barty? No, wow. Okay. I got it. So this is tough because uh, we're gonna have to. I mean, this is a really use... tough one. This is like a baby, yeah, baby we're picture. Yeah, have to look at, the, look at the mom and see if there's a resemblance. That's Sonia. Dude, I recognize Sonia's mom. 100%. Oh, Look at those yeah, cheeks. Okay. Aww. Little Sonia. All right, who do we have next? Mm. Um, who do we have? Is this? This is not easy. Is this Jeannie Bouchard? <laughs> oh! oh my <laughs> god, you got it. Come on now, that was pretty good. All right, Vashik, I think it's that time. We have to pick post of the week. My favorite one is the uh, the song by Chris. I just loved it. I like the lyrics. Um, we haven't seen anything like that out there, and, and that's my that's the yes, winner Yes, the winner for me, too. Creativity level 100. And actually, we have a little surprise for Chris as well. We hooked him up with his favorite player. Happens to be John Isner. Check it out. Thank you, Bethany and Vashek. Um, I'm excited to be on Tennis United with you guys, and I'm even more excited to speak with my main man, Chris. I got to meet him last year at Indian Wells, and he was such a treat to hang out with. So without further ado, let's bring him on. Hey, Chris. Hey. It's your pal, John Isner, buddy. How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing very well, it's good to see you again. I was on Instagram the other day and I, of course, came across your, your video of, of your song and I thought right away, I said, well, that's Chris right there. That's awesome that he's, on, that he's on the ATP Instagram. So can you tell me about that song you made? Yeah, thank you. So I was doing poetry in English and I wanted to write a poem on the ATP tour. So my dad was messing around with the guitar. So we just decided to play a song. That's unbelievable. Well, you're very, very talented whenever it may be. Um, I hope to see you again uh, at, at some tournaments. It would be awesome for yeah. me to uh, get to hang out I mean, with you again. You're just an amazing guy, and it's amazing to be here. This is probably one of the most awesome times that ever, uh, ever happened. We appreciate that positivity because it's a tough time going on, and you have such an amazing outlook on everything. So thanks a lot, Chris. We appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Okay, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, Bethany, you know what? This was a great week. I really enjoyed this one. Great episode. We're six weeks in. We got tons more coming next week. Vashik, it's been fun. I feel like I'm getting to know you a little bit better. I don't know, by episode seven, eight, who knows? Guys, and don't forget to find us on social and send in your videos with the hashtags tennis at home and home court. And to end this show, we're going to leave you guys with a musical number from Louisa and...